All right, so we got meatloaf, stuffed with some mozzarella cheese. I have a pound and a half of extra lean ground beef, a uh, half a teaspoon of salt and black pepper, some Worcestershire sauce, a couple tablespoons of barbecue sauce, a couple tablespoons of dry bread crumbs, a few tablespoons of dried onion, um, some ceviche sauce, about half a tablespoon, some chopped fresh rosemary, some dry basil, and an egg. Mix it all up, mix it all up really nice and good, and you want to squeeze the meat nice and tight so there's no air pockets, and uh, we're going to stuff some cheese inside there, some some mozzarella cheese. When you put the cheese in, again, press it around the cheese so it's nice and tight, there's no holes, you don't want the cheese to melt as it's cooking. So uh, I put it on the lid of the pan to check the size to make sure it's going to fit in uh, my skillet nicely here. So I preheat the skillet for about uh, three minutes, the pan's going to be nice and hot when the water beats. We got that beating action, that's the uh, right time to start searing our meat. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in that whole lovely meatloaf right into the pan and uh, get it searing. The pan's nice and hot. As it goes in, it, it is ground beef. There's going to be some fat coming out of the meat. So if this is a nice time, I'm going to add the onions in the bottom and they're going to sweat from uh, some of the fat coming out of the meat. So I have a small onion uh, I sliced, uh, one Roma tomato I diced up, which I'm going to put in there as well. That'll break down for the gravy. Um, on top of that, I have 10 small button mushrooms, which I uh, cut into eighths and threw them into the pan. Um, you can even leave them whole sometimes. Uh, it's nice to have them whole, like big pieces of mushrooms, nice in the end. We can put the lid on there, and when the whistle goes off in a medium heat, then uh, I'm just going to check it here. Now everything's starting to sweat inside. On each side of the meatloaf, I'm going to put in a heaping tablespoon of flour. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the flour, and uh, I'm going to cook the flour make it kind of like a roux. It's going to get nice and thick and pasty. So uh, just mix it up, and we're going to cook that a little bit. I'm going to add some liquid, just a little bit of uh, beef broth. Now I'm not going to add lots at this time because if you add too much beef broth, it might split and become lumpy. So add a little bit of liquid, mix it in with the uh, roux paste from the flour, add a bit more liquid, um, roll the roast over. You want to be very gentle when you move it over and we got that nice brown part right on top. I'm going to put in a heaping tablespoon of tomato paste, a little bit on each side and then I'm going to bulk it up with more beef broth. So the beef broth is three quarters full and uh, the roast is uh, turning around. I'm gonna put some liquid over the roast. We're gonna put the uh, lid on top and kind of braise it for about uh, 35 minutes, right? Total, total cooking time would be done here. So once it's done, we're just gonna let it rest for about five minutes and then we serve it up, right? So now turn it to low and it's good to go. Shut that vent. And then when we open it up, I'm just gonna give it a bit of a stir around, remove the roast and uh, we're pretty much good to go. I'm going to cut that in the pan, and uh, you can even take it out, serve it on a nice platter. It's a nice little dish. This could be a nice little dinner for four to accompany it, or a full meal for two. Um, a lot of meat, pound and a half, not very much shrinkage in the pan. Quick and easy, and that's the way we like to do it. Easy greaseless cooking with Chef Warren, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our page for the next exciting dish.